All right, six time recording. Here we go. There's a review on the Glocks. The Glock 19 and the Glock 22. I bought the 19, my brother bought the 22. He wanted a bigger gun, I wanted a more compact gun. This is a review for anybody that's looking in between the Glock 19 and the 17 or the 22 or the 23 if you're looking at size differences or not from the first time buyer. I know there's a bunch of reviews out there, but I was a first time buyer two weeks ago. I picked up my gun yesterday and I wanted to give everybody a little feel for why I got it, how nice this gun really is. I think Glock is a good platform because like out the door it's like 600 bucks. Um, God, it comes with a speed loader, two mags, a little mini cleaning kit, a lock. Just a nice setup for what you're getting for 600 bucks. I know it's a polymer handle. Just real quick so we can see. This is an empty gun. Okay. It's not as nice as like a SIG. Like my buddy has a 226. Um, it's not as nice as the 1911 style guns. I got a 19. I wanted the 9mm. And what I did immediately was I got rid of the finger ridges. The finger ridges were... Something that I hated about the Glock, I loved holding the 1911 grips and feeling how well they were, how smooth they were. So if we compare to my brother's Glock 17, he's got the finger ridges. Again, so we see this is a clear weapon. Mag. Cool. He, this gun is again bigger in size. So we'll go back to back. Nobody saw that. This gun is obviously bigger. It's got a 4.6 inch barrel compared to the four inch barrel. And then the grip is also longer. You see the difference there? The gun actually fits well in my hand here. I didn't want something this big. I wanted something I can conceal a little bit better. Hence the 19. Well, being the car mod junkie that I am, within an hour of having it, I've shaved the finger grooves down. I've sanded a little bit of the sides. I added the Pierce grip extension. The first thing you do is dropping everything. I turn this bitch on. It's not on right now. I turned it on and I started shaving it down. So where this part is in the ridges, you can just basically smooth these out, and then like what everybody does, they've undercut the, the finger grip. I'm still gonna do a little bit more, but you smooth it out there, get rid of the finger ridges. With that, I mean, it looks sweet. It, the thing is badass, but it fits my hand a lot better too. So from the full size, from the part where, if I were gonna grip in here, my pinky falls off right there. But if I go from the grip extension, while it's flat now, no finger ridges for my fingers to sit on top of, Picky sits perfectly right there. There's no fall anymore. It's a great modification for the gun. So I can't wait to shoot this thing. It, it looks like a fun gun. I shot the, the 19, no, the 17 at a range about two weeks ago. Not a lot of recoil out of these guns. Just a nice platform, especially if you're getting into guns for the first time or you want a handgun to start out with. It's a good piece of machinery to buy. But here's why. I like to mod things. I like to mod my car. Pretty much anything I can get my hands on. That's what spoke to me in levels is because I can immediately mod this thing. It's got a polymer handle. You can chop that thing up left and right. You can do whatever you want. Sky's the limit with this gun. Versus buying a 1911 for $1,300, $1,400 for like a SIG. You can't really do that much with it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the extended mag release, put the trigger pound a little bit back farther so it's like a two pound, three pound release. I'm not gonna add any sights, I'm not a big fan of that. And I will be shooting it hopefully this week, be able to do a review for you guys there, which is what my brother got. Um, is a great gun as well if you have a bigger hand, he's a bigger guy. Um, his fingers, however, fit in the ridges well. Another great gun, great piece of machinery. He got the 40 cal. A little bit more expensive on the ammo. I think a box of nine mils in like the Remington, $16 for my nine and then for his, it was like $25. I like it a lot. Um, the other thing that was cool about these is like how simple they are to take down. Pull the slide off there, spring, barrel. That's, that's it, that's all the gun is. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to update you guys with videos on shooting and then um, I'm actually gonna go with my uncle and shoot at the range because he has the, the 45 cal in the Glock. So I'll probably be doing like a bunch of Glock reviews too. Um, and then maybe like my buddy's SIG, I can be able to compare those back and forth. But we'll be able to add these to the list of reviews that we do. So that's that.